Hi everybody, this is Kevin from the Thrifting Lounge, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the stuff I grabbed on Saturday. Uh, actually, all the stuff I grabbed on Saturday at a, a thrifting store. Yeah. And this is my girlfriend, Nikki. Hi. She's going to be my partner, and I'm going to basically just give her the items. I'm going to go over them and how much they're sold, they're going to sell for and or how much I hope to have them sell for. Anyways, our first item is a gorgeous smoking jack, uh, smoker's jacket from East St. Laurent. It's velvet, and it's the designer collection. I've never seen a designer collection, so I don't know if it's some sort of limited edition kind, but this is definitely my favorite find. It's the East St. Laurent. And it's made in France. It's got the two-button... You can back up. It's got the two-button front, and it also has a... Turn around and hold it. It's got the dual vents. So it could be like a smoker's jacket, uh, smoker's jacket, or, or uh, maybe even a riding jacket. I'm not not too sure, but it's really cool. Um, so I bought this for two uh, five dollars. Sorry, and I hope to get 160 out of it. And a lot of these that I'm giving you quotes are is actually stuff that's actually sold that's been similar items, and I hope to sell them for. Uh, it might fluctuate. It might go a little cheaper because I do usually do a buy it now with the best offer on it. The second one we got is a gorgeous, hold that up, Orvis hunting or uh, fishing vest. And it's got the um, uh, pockets in the front, flat pockets in the front. It's got a cool little hidden pocket right here. It's polyester. And um, I'm hoping to get about anywhere from 40 to $50 out of it. And it's an XL. And uh, yeah, it's got this cool little design on the liner. And there's a tag right there. Sorry, my camera might be a little bit out of focus, but it's better than doing it with the um, our DSLR. The next one we have, hold that up for me, is a humongous, uh, I think it's pronounced uh, Jan Barnes or something like that. But it's a huge 54 uh, long. I mean, this thing is absolutely humongous. It's a three-button front. And um, let's see. Tags. There we go. Yeah, right there. And uh, it's uh, it's got some cool little fabric to it. I think it's like a, a wool silk uh, wool silk blend. But um, this is made in the United States. It's got the uh, it's a vintage because it has the uh, Union label. It's green. I pay, I paid five bucks for this, and I'm hoping to get um, where are we? Forty dollars for it. Next one's a really cool one. Hold that up. It is a Canali for Bernini. Let's see. Bernini. Doesn't want to come in clear. There we go. Beverly Hills. And um, why is this out of focus? There we go. And it's a Canali Pro Proposta. Made in Italy. And this is a it has a two rear vent, uh, rear vents in the back too. Also, and it's a forty two regular wool with black and bro, uh, brown little squares. And um, I mean, this is this I bought for five bucks. And I'm hoping to get about ninety ninety dollars to one hundred and ten dollars um, because the Bernini's uh, Bernini's is a really good brand to, to get from Canali. It's be nice to wear out on a nice date with your wife. Ain't you sexy? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And then I got another. Yeah. Uh, this is really cool. Ralph Lauren Polo. It's made in Italy. And uh, this stuff's really hard to find. The stuff that's made in Italy. Uh, it's got the, also got the double uh, vents in the back, too. Uh, it's a, I think it's linen silk. Yeah, it's got a it's herringbone pattern, three button front. It's got the um, yeah. Where am I? Okay, it's a hundred percent linen. It's a forty regular, three percent uh three button front. And this one I bought for five bucks also, and I'm hoping to get anywhere from eighty to ninety dollars off of it. Um, yeah. Polo. Why is it doing that? There we go. Made in Italy. 
And it's got the herringbone. Kind of see it. Um, next one. This is a, another good find. It's a heart shape for Marks. Uh, camel wool. Uh, sorry, this is actually cashmere. I got two of them. No. I got two uh, of the camel, uh, sorry, the uh, cashmere sport jackets uh, from Heart Shaper Marks. And this is a two button front. Let me see. I got a lot of them. I don't know if it's the same guy. Maybe you donate them, but I got a lot of um, the sport coats and blazers that are from Price's Menswear in Dearborn, Michigan. Um, and my guess is it came from the same person. So. He had a lot of um, money invested in the sport coats and stuff like that. Um, and this one, it's 46 long. I bought it for $5, and I'm hoping to get 60 bucks for it. It's got like a like the cool little tan colored. That's fine. I'll get back into focus. This is the green version, and this is actually the Hart Schaefer Marks Gold Trumpeteer, and these are really co uh, highly collectible. And this is another cashmere one, and it has some really cool buttons on it. I don't know what kind of buttons to call them, but it's got like a gold trim on it. Show the 100% cashmere here. Right there, 100% cashmere. And uh, it's, this is like a... Um, a dark green, like a forest green. It's got the flat pockets, two button front. I paid five bucks for this. I believe I'm hoping to get um, eighty dollars for it. Again, if you find any sport jackets or blazers that have cashmere, it doesn't care what brand it is, grab it because you can sell them really good. Now this one, this is a double breasted. Are oh, you gonna have to stand up for that? Yeah, it's a trench coat. Or overcoat, double breasted with the peak uh, lapels. No, come down a little. There, come down a little more. There you go with the lapels here. It's double breasted. Close I'm it like this. Breasted. Yeah, you are. And again, this is from Prices too. So somebody had a lot of money, and I'm gonna. I bought this for five bucks, and I'm hoping to get um, a, I believe eighty dollars for it. Uh, $70, sorry. There you go, try it on. Turn around. It's got the vent in the back. Woo! Turn back around, there you go. And this is actually humongous. I believe this is um, a 52. Oh, sorry, 48 regular. And um, it's black and white. It fits over my boobs. Yeah. Come over here in the middle. Man. Show it off, there you go. Yeah, I bought this for five bucks, hoping to get Seventy dollars for it and up, um, and it's not that it's not like a heavyweight one. I have the heavyweight one in the back that I'm selling for about two hundred dollars. This is um, this is more of like a lightweight, maybe an all season jacket. All right, you can take that off. Next one. And again, I found all these sport coats in one store. I actually was able to go in the back. The guy asked me if I wanted to go in the back and check out their winter stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's okay uh, yeah, it's okay back. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. actually, the winter stuff was better than the stuff he had out front. A lot of the stuff he had out front had a lot of like defects and stuff like that. But um, he had a whole row of this stuff. And but basically, all the stuff that I got here, the stuff I got in the back room. And this is a master's jacket with the gold buttons in the front with the little. Master's label. It's a two button front with the flat pockets. It's got a vent right here in the pick it up. Okay. Vent right here in the back. And it is from Palm Beach. So it's a master's collection, Palm Beach, two two button uh sport coat or blazer actually, sorry, blazer. And this one is a size forty six regular. It's a vintage. Made in the United States. I paid five bucks for it. Hopefully, get about fifty to sixty dollars for it. Here's another golfing jacket. This one is from Heart Shaper Marks, and 
a little more. There you go. Another two button front, gold buttons. And this is from Heart Shaper Marks, Jack Nicholas at uh, bought at a Macy's store. And it's partially lined. Uh, it's got the rear vent right back here. And this one is a size. 46 regular. That one's also vintage. Actually, all these are basically vintage. Um, I got an act seriously think it came from the same guy that must have donated them. And I bought that for five bucks. I'm gonna try to get about 60 bucks for it. There we go. This is a gorgeous hound's tooth double breasted blazer with wood buttons with the Burberry insignia on the buttons. See the knight? There we go. And uh, actually, actually has a, a large hound's tooth, and it has the flat pockets right here. Let me open this up. Right here is Burberry's. And this is actually, again, this is from Prices. And this is actually 100% camel hair. And it has the peak lapels. And this one doesn't have a rear vent. This one would go for USA made, black, white, 48 regular. Bought for five bucks. Looking to get probably maybe about a hundred dollars for it. I could not find a hound's tooth camel hair uh, one to go on, so I just went on a regular camel hair. That actually could might might go for more because of the pattern. Um, my next one is another Burberry's Hound's Tooth. It's got like a Hound's Tooth um, window pane plaid kind of. I mean, it's kind of like that um, multicolor. It's got two button front and the flat pockets. And I really scored in the Burberry's at that uh, at this thrift shop. So you know the Burberry's. And then this side, yep. This is actually a Super 100's worsted wool. And this is a blazer also. No vent. No vent, yep. And that one I bought for five bucks. Uh, all the blazers and sport coats I bought for five dollars, uh, which is a really good deal. He he gave me a huge deal. I, I mean, I paid about $130 for everything. And, um, I mean, because he taught, he even said, he goes, you're buying bulk and you're getting rid of most of the stuff I want out back, so. And that one I'm hoping to get $80 for it. I got another cool, I think you pronounce it, yeah. I think it's pronounced John, John Barnes or John Barnes. It's a three button front. It's got this cool little design on it. It's like bars or something. Black, white, and brown uh, bars. And it's black, white, and brown. well, no, it's black, gray. It's there's it's, brown in it though. No, it's not. It's gray, navy blue, and like a lighter shade of gray. Whatever. <laughs> and your color the label. There's a saving over here. Another one from Prices. Um, three button, uh, three button front blazer. No, no vents. Mm -hmm. Um, and I believe this one's uh, is uh, linen. Let me see. This one's made in the United States, vintage, forty-eight long. I bought. I paid five dollars. I'm gonna get about forty dollars for it. This is a cool Brooks Brothers. It's got like really large hounds tooth pattern, and this one does have the window pane or whatever you want to call it, Glen plaid or however you want to say it. It's got the vent in the back. It's a two-button front. Um, I mean, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, I would say, what do you think? Gray, black, and brown. Yeah. Brown stripe. Brown. It's got, no, it's got like an orangish, like a yeah. bronze. Color. Really sharp looking. And um, wait, this is this is the Brooks Brothers, right? Yeah. Where is on here? Yeah, it's a 44 regular wool, United States made, so you know it's vintage. Um, 
paid five bucks, looking to get anywhere from seventy to eighty dollars for it. Actually, I bought fifteen sport jackets, so that's why it's taking a little while to get through. This is another. Oh, sorry, I'm falling asleep. This is a canali. It's past my bedtime. Another canali, two button front. Right here. Canali made in Italy. And another one from Prices. This one has, this is, nope, this is a blazer. Yeah, it has no rear vent in the back. Um, this one's made out of 100%. I think it's a tweed, kind of, because it's, it's better than wool. Definitely feels like tweed. Um, it's colors black and brown. Paid five bucks. Looking to get sixty dollars for it. You go. Oh, it's gone. Sorry. Just start leaving them right there. It's funny. It's past my bedtime, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm tired too. This old lady needs to go to bed. So. This is a. Is that a bird? Yeah. Um, Hickey Freeman. This is a silk, linen, and wool blend. Um. I want to say uh, window pane. It's got the multi colors and it kind of like makes it the uh, the squares in it. Two button front, flat pockets, rear vent. I was it's a to for. really cool. Like it's like a light greenish bluish color to it. Um, pay five bucks for it. It's a forty four long. You made in United States. Looking to get sixty dollars for that oh, one. God. And that's it for the sport coats, right? And now we're going to do some entertainment. No. Aww. This is a vintage Christian Dior uh, wool blend, long sleeve pullover. It's even got the little Dior signia there, emblem. You can see the label. Old school medium. It's got like a burgundy red, cool, uh, cool color. I paid, I think, a dollar for it. Two dollars for it. Hope they get thirty dollars for it. Next one I got is a Ralph Lauren. Normally, I've been passing up on the Ralph Lauren lately. And um, I'm sorry, I just heard your face on Instagram. Normally, I've been passing up the Ralph Lauren's, but Long sleeves, but I saw this insignia. It's like a shield. I know they pretty go. They go for pretty good money. I paid a. It's a two XL striped, um, blade cotton, button down. It's vintage. I paid a dollar for it, hoping to get thirty dollars for it. I found my first Peter Miller Millar. And this is a 100% cotton extra large. It's got like a velvet trim here in the back of the neck lining and down here in the sides. I don't know if that means anything. It's got the button down uh, button down collar and the uh, I think these are the flip up cuffs. Um, XL paid a dollar for it. Hoping to get twenty five dollars for it. This one's good. This is a Hugo Boss. Right there. Right. Size is 16 and a half. Black pinstripe, uh, black stripes. Pay a dollar for it. Hope to get anywhere from 25 to 30 dollars. And I got this cool. I got this off, half off. I got this cool uh, wetsuit from Orca. It's called a speed suit. Um, Nick, can you please close the door? Oh, sorry about that. It's a speed suit, wetsuit. It's for like triathlon. And it has like a whoever was sponsored them. So I believe this makes a little bit more uh, worth more money. I paid $750 uh, for it. It was half off. 
and I um, should get about eighty to ninety dollars for it. Next one I got is a it's a Joe Rocket large. It's like a motorcycle liner, and um, I mean I paid a dollar for it. I'm looking to get about twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for it. Yeah, twenty dollars for it. I actually thought it was the jacket, but then further noticed that I, I guess it was the liner, because it has those uh, zippers right here. And um, now I'm gonna get to the pants and the slacks. I got this for a dollar. These are children's Columbia like skiing bibs it's a 6x I don't know if you can see that it's on autofocus so it might mess up the focusing I paid two dollars for them and I'm hoping to get I believe 25 for it uh, still for children's clothes that's pretty good money and then next is a size 42, 100% silk, Tommy Bahama, relax fit, pants, actually short, sorry about that. These things are huge. Pay a dollar, looking to get maybe $18 for them. These have the, uh, this is a Nike tear away or tear off sweatpants. And it has the Denver Nuggets colors on the sides. So I'm pretty sure it's, it's from the Nuggets. I mean, you just tear them off like that. Um, and they say Supreme on them, so I don't know if they're worth more. I couldn't find a comparable one, but the ones I could find, they were going for like $30, $35. And these are larges and from Nike. I paid a dollar, two dollars for those. Next, I got a really cool pair of, uh, really actually it's like really wide. I think these are like forty fours. Yeah, forty two. Sorry, um, shorts. Uh, forty forty two short. Um, Austin Reed slacks, and I love buying slacks. If anybody knows me. Uh, I, I mean, the first two things I try to go for is the suits and the slacks, because slacks really give you uh, a good return on investment. Um, these are black and white, made in USA. No, sorry, Colombia. And these are 100% wool. But I'm for a dollar, hoping to get. Um, hoping to get twenty dollars for them. And this is a cool uh, Givenchy pair of slacks. Another pair, another long. Um, these are forty regulars, but I think somebody had them um, had the bottom hen because they look like they're short now. So I don't know if they'll go for more or less, but hoping they get about twenty five for these. And these are also black. Oh, sorry, uh, these are actually. Uh, Navy blue. So a couple more items. These are a nice pair of J. Crew matchstick corduroy uh, pants, size 30, 32 small. And um, I believe these are women's corduroys. There you go. The brown, they should go for um, twenty dollars. I bought them for three dollars. Sorry. And my last pair of slacks are my favorite brand to sell for slacks, uh, Zanella. If you ever see the waistband say that, pick them up. I sold two last week, one for eighty, and they were from Laurel uh, Piana. Um, and the other one was uh, regular Zanellas that sold for 40 bucks. So, I mean, these are pretty big, too. These, I want to say, are 
these are 40, 40 longs, so they're pretty, pretty long, and they have a 100% wool, brown, and these were made in Italy, and I'm hoping to get $40 for these two. I paid $2 for them. And then the last three finds I love to sell Afghans. The only ones I really pick up are the cool colored ones or the ones that are granny squared and chevron. And if you don't know what that is, these little squares right here is what you call a granny square. Um, the guy there actually gave me these for free. He gave me three of them for free. I'm hoping to get this one, sell this one for about 60 because it's, uh, it's about, it fits about a queen size bed. The uh, larger sizes go for more money. And uh, I mean, I've sold I've sold them quite a few of them. That's why I never pass them up. They're easy money, and they seem to go pretty quick. They'll take maybe a couple of weeks to about a, a month or two to sell, but they give you really good profit. This is a chevron, really cool looking colored. Um, this one I want to say is newer than the other two. The other two are more in like I want to say the '70s, and this one's more I want to say like the maybe '90s. Although it's hard to tell, a lot of these materials are all like made the same. They're all acrylic, um, and because it's really hard to find the wool ones, because a lot of people don't they have aller uh, allergic reactions to the wool ones. And uh, that one's actually chevron. That will go for about forty, and this one will go for about forty also. This one actually fits a queen queen size bed too. It's got like the cool like seventies colors. Really outdated, but. This one will definitely go for probably about forty dollars, and I appreciate it a little higher and take a best offer of anything over forty dollars. So in total, I spent sorry about that. Total, I spent about one hundred and thirty dollars. Uh, one hundred thirty dollars. I'm looking to get maybe like sixteen to eighteen dollars in that area, and of course, it might go smaller than that, uh, lower than that, because I mean, I take best offers, so it could be fourteen or thirteen, but nothing less than I believe thirteen hundred dollars. Because all this stuff is like really high quality, um, hard to find stuff, especially the Burberry jackets and uh, the Canali sport coats. And um, I'm really hoping to make some really good money on that East St. Laurent uh, velvet uh, blazer, smoker's blazer, whatever it's called. Um, but in the next few days, we're going to be making a, our 500th subscriber contest. So we're going to figure that out. And um, if you guys have any suggestions on it, I know we're going to do... Uh, the first place person gets, I think, I believe, fifty or seventy-five dollars. I'm not too sure yet. We haven't really gotten out the details yet. But, anyways, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, and like the haul. I'm sorry it was a little disorganized. It's just it's a little hard right now. My son woke up and he's not feeling too well the last few days. Um, but if you guys have really any suggestions or anything, uh, let me know. Thank you guys for watching.